what's it like to own this Street Fighter V4? Oh my god, it is so good. I mean, is there anything so beautiful? Maybe the head's a bit up, maybe it's like that Adonis or that you know, girl with the supermodel body or the guy with the Adonis body, and maybe the head's a bit ugly, right? And you put the old pillow on it, but um. Yeah, I've sort of grown to like it. It really is a piece of art, like the single-sided swing arm. It looks beautiful, the wings. <laughs> All right, it's got wings. I got a bike that's got wings. Okay, no problem there, but it does look amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna use it as a daily. The only thing, maybe the old ground clearance. It's a little concern for the daily. Suspension's really good, don't worry about getting the S unless you want the wheels and that. It's good value getting the S actually, when you consider how much it costs. Now the reason I didn't get it is because it was a demo. It had 2,000 Ks on it. That's a bit too much, I'd say, 2,000 Ks. And you know, they're fresh, the demos, and they're left out in the sun all the time. But only like $1,000 US more, I actually could have got it. I could have got the S. But I'd rather this, I'd rather this. It looks better with the you know the black forks rather than you know the yellow forks which sort of makes it look like mcdonald's or maybe uh ketchup and mustard but this way it looks good um oh we've got a plane going oh there we go take off anyway let's try and get some footage i love this thing it's amazing right tell the other chance I guess you know where I am. Yes, we're going on a Top Gun run today. Go down the airport. Gonna do a bit of Tom Cruise reenactment, and that is a speed camera right there. Always, always, always a speed camera. Anyway, I have put the suspension back to stock, so I went into the manual. I'll put it back to what they recommend well not what they recommend but um, always water through here back to the factory settings anyway and it seems pretty good the suspension I've got to say I'm impressed with the suspension if you're thinking of getting the S version I wouldn't sweat it if you're thinking for the suspension there is an issue with the S suspension that I'll talk about whoa that was <laughs> I like that I'm not revving it over 6,000 because the book tells you not to that's one thing about running in right a lot of people have these methods of running in oh you should do the moto mad oh you should baby it here's the thing just ride it vary the revs and make sure you do what the handbook says okay so the handbook says don't rev over 6,000 now maybe it's better if you do and you rev and you're gonna get a better seal or whatever, I don't know. This is not the point. The point is, if you blow up your motor, all right, and you haven't kept under the revs that they recommend for running in, so for example, this bike here, you're supposed to keep under 6,000 revs for 1,000 Ks, right? If I was to blow this motor up and I was revving to 8,000, 9,000 or even redlining, what would happen is they'll get the bike in, they'll check the logs and they'll go, hey, you haven't done a thousand k's, why are you revving this far, you warrant his void. Now you might be able to argue that it's not void for some reason, maybe you've got a good lawyer or something like that, but Believe me, if they can wash their hands of it, they will. So, I just recommend you do what the handbook says. 
do a U-turn here you see how good it is. I don't want to go into the dirty stuff. Yeah, um Yeah, just do what the handbook says until you've reached that thousand Ks or whatever. And then then you're good to go. Now I've got to say the suspension feels nice today. Maybe a little bit bouncy, so maybe I've got to um, get in there and uh, maybe increase the dampening so that it doesn't go up and down so much. And maybe uh, loosen the compression a bit. But yeah, loving this bike so far. This is going to be my daily, yes, my daily touring, riding, cruising. Mate, that's the only way to fly. 200 horsepower motorcycle as your touring daily commuter. I don't ride a bike as a daily, but why not? I mean, if you're going to stay on the road, and yes, of course I can't use all the horsepower. You can't use all the horsepower of a 100 horsepower motor. Like on the Twano 660, I couldn't use all that. But the real thing is, you get this motor so that you know, you get the benefit of that power and that torque. And this has a lot of mid-range torque. So, unlike the V2, the V2 you have to be at the top end of its rev range to get the power out of it. This one here, the good thing about it is you don't have to worry about what gear you're in. Well, not so much. It's a bit wet. Luckily, I'm in granny mode. Can I change the modes on the fly? Oh, yeah, I can. Yep, I'm in sports now. Yep, I've closed it. I'm in sports now. Yay! I could be in second gear here. Other bikes I'd have to be in first gear. But it doesn't matter, it's got the torque, right? So we're gonna go down the airport, gonna see what's happening down there. Dirty roads. Oh. Don't you hate dirty roads? It feels nice and crisp in sports mode, I'll give it a tip. You sort of can tell the difference. What's going on here? Speed camera? Probably. Alright, we're going to see how the suspension goes up here. bumpy over that but um nothing too crazy uh, obviously i can't rev over 6000 you probably heard that before this winery seems to be very popular around here Catch you in the next one, guys.
Tally Ho!